If Barbie has taught us anything, it's how essential makeup is when accenting a woman's beautiful face. Did you know that makeup dates all the way back to 164,000 BC? It's no wonder women all over the world have taken makeup and applied it to their culture standards. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because today we are going to discuss the evolution of makeup throughout the ages. Egyptians 10,000 to 4,000 BC the ancient Egyptians were really into skin care. They would make sure their skin was always hydrated and protected from the harsh Egyptian sun. The women would apply green or blue eyeshadow fashioned from copper and lead ore mixtures. Men and women were known to wear various bright colored lipsticks to show off their social status. Coal, a mixture of metal, soot, and animal fat was used to line their eyes, and also help protect the eyes from the sun rays. This was the first era when women would bring cosmetics to parties and hide them in makeup boxes. 3000 to 500 BC. During this time period, makeup was starting to pop up all over the world. From the development of henna in India to the Chinese using beeswax and gelatin to stain their nails, makeup was starting to become a fixture for the social elite. This was also the time that oils and perfumes started being mainstream in Egypt, and pale skin with a unibrow was desirable in Greece. The Greek would use chalk or lead face powder to appear pale, then the women would shape the perfect unibrow using coal. 1 to 500 AD. Hair dye was all the rage in these centuries. Roman emperors would dye their hair blonde and Egyptians would keep their hair dark by using minerals from metallic elements. Being pale was a sign of wealth during the European Middle Ages and women would take drastic measures such as draining their blood to attain it. Women also used coal to darken eyelashes and eyelids and started using rouge on their cheeks. Elizabethan Era England 1560 AD Queen Elizabeth I was the Kim Kardashian of the 16th century England. With her pale skin and red hair, women were dying to get her look. No, really, they were using a poisonous mixture of white lead and vinegar to look white. If that didn't work, much like the 6th century Europeans, they would use the bloodletting tactic. Women would also pluck or shave their eyebrows and hairline to resemble Elizabeth's high forehead. Before this era, it was considered vulgar to wear makeup in England. Victoria era 1850 to 1901 AD. Much like pre-Elizabethan England, people of the Victorian era frowned upon the use of makeup. They associated cosmetics with people of low moral character. Queen Victoria set the beauty standards. Her focus was a natural look and well-maintained skin. Women would make face masks from oatmeal, honey, and egg yolk. Long hair was considered feminine and worn up. To add color to their faces, women would often pinch their cheeks and bite their lips. Flappers 1920s. With the development of makeup counters in the early 1900s, makeup no longer carried the Victorian era stigma. Women were able to see makeup as a form of femininity. Women of this era donned dark eyebrows and heavy eye makeup. Having the perfect pout was also very important to women of the 1920s. They would spend their time using scarlet color metal-based lip liners to achieve the perfect Cupid's bow. Using ivory creams and rouge papers attained the youthful glow that was very popular in this era. Mod 1960s. Model Twiggy made the mod look mainstream in the 60s. Women would place most emphasis on their eyes. Dark eyeliner on the crease was used and white eyeshadow on the eyelid really made this look stand out. Women started wearing fake lashes on both upper and lower lashes. This achieved a retro flapper look. Lips were not really the highlight of the face, so women used pale matte colored lipstick to make sure their eyes really popped. 2000s by the year 2000, pale skin was out and tan skin was all the rage. Tan skin gave the impression that someone was healthy and helped cover up some unwanted cellulite. Lip gloss in metallic or bold colors was trendy and having icy pale eyeshadow was a staple. Women of this time wanted the thinnest eyebrows possible and are paying the price for it today. Because in 2010, thick eyebrows were considered more attractive. Flat irons became a necessary tool for all women and helped achieve the perfect straight strands. What are some of your favorite makeup trends throughout the ages? Do you think any of these will make a comeback? React in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.